and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to possibly create a watermark. So I was asked if this is possible in Inkscape. It's not the best program to do it. GIMP might be the better option. But you can try your best in Inkscape like this. I've got a simple image right here and I put it on top of a background. Put an object fill in stroke and try different blending modes. Some images that works well especially when the background in the original image is simple. You can also go down with the opacity. But you can already see that for this example, so for the image that I've got, it doesn't work that well. Background is a gradient and not so simple. So I would suggest trying a different method. Just select the image, then go to path, use trace bitmap. Uncheck this box for now for invert image. And for the most part, you want to stick to brightness cutoff and use the signal scan. Depending on what you've got, you can, of course, try the different methods right here under the drop down. Click on update and you can see what it's going to look like or apply the effect directly by pressing on OK. In this case, the brightness cutoff gives me the best results. You can also try multiple scans. Auto trace would also give us good results. Let me add this one and then I'll add another brightness cutoff and we can compare the results. So the background is now basically erased and we've got our logo. By the way, you can find this image via description link below. And now put it on the background and go down with the opacity. So it works in both cases. And typically watermarks don't have color, so that's fine. For some images, it makes sense to invert the image. Let me show you what that looks like. So depending on the colors that you've got and the logo that you've got in the image, just try the regular, so uncheck this box, invert image, and trace the bitmap. And if it doesn't give you the results that you need, then just check the box and do it again. But once more, I suggest that you also look into GIMP if you want to create a watermark, but if you've got only Inkscape at hand, just try these methods to create it. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.